Hello friends, a very warm welcome. Today we'll discuss about the user space uh, program memory layout in details. Myself Sanjay Kumar Das, a technology expert with more than 10 years of experience. I welcome you to my channel Kenny Information Center. Let's begin. The memory of user space program comprises of five different segments. The topmost segment is called stack and below underneath that is heap and then BSS, data segment and text segment. Let's go into each of the segment and understand what each of them does. Stack area is just located below kernel space and above heap space. It usually grows downwards as and when the memory is allocated or deallocated. Now the stack follows LIFO data structure or last in first out data structure. The management of stack is pretty simple because there is only one pointer that tracks the top of the stack that is the stack pointer. So what all things comes under stack? Number one, the local variables and number two, the function arguments and the return types. Now let's talk about heap area. Heap area usually takes care of dynamic memory allocation. It usually grows upward in the memory towards the stack unless and until it is full. Now what are the things that heap takes care of? So the things that usually comes under heap area those are malloc, calloc, uh, realloc, free and those things which deals with dynamic memory allocation. It is the user's responsibility to free up the memory occupied in heap space otherwise it will lead to memory leak. Now many of the high level languages like Java and Python and stuff uh, I mean languages like this they use a concept called as garbage collector who takes care of all the memories that has been leaked so that they can collect all this leaked memory and then they, it will free it up. So garbage collector is an independent code that looks into the heap area periodically and frees up those memory which has been leaked or been idle for a long time. Now there is a key difference between stack space and heap space. Stack space uses only stack pointer to keep track of the memory that is growing or decreasing and it uses a continuous memory. In heap it basically creates a list of all free spaces available. It is not necessarily to be contiguous. Now let's go further and discuss the third part of this. It is BSS that is block started by symbol. Here uninitialized data segment is often called as BSS segment. Data in this segment is initialized to zero by the kernel itself before the program starts executing. For example, you have a global variable static integer i or x but that has not been initialized that is uninitialized that memory goes into BSS. Now let's go to the fourth one that is data segment. Here all the initialized data members, global data members or static uh, data members are stored inside data segment. And the last and the fifth segment is called text segment in which the program machine label instructions or the executable instructions of that particular program which is running is stored. I hope this video was useful in understanding the fundamental aspects of the user space program memory layout. So if you like my video please give a big thumbs up, share it as much as possible and if you have not subscribed it yet please subscribe it and don't forget to hit the bell button so that you stay connected to my latest technological videos. Thank you very much.